Although the dodo is the poster boy of extinction, it took 100 years before anyone realized that the dodo had, in fact, gone extinct. Extinction as a concept made no sense to anyone. The reasons are twofold. First, it didn't make sense that God would let all his hard work go to waste and let creatures die out. And second, no one imagined the Earth was very old. In the 1650s, an Irish bishop, James Usher, looked at who begat whom in the Bible. Using this, he announced that the Earth was less than 6,000 years old. Even more precisely, it was created on Sunday, the 23rd of October, 4004 BC, even though, technically, Sunday should have been his day off. The first clue maybe this was a tiny bit out came from fossils. For years, people thought fossils had simply fallen from the sky or were left by the devil. By the end of the 1700s, fossils had become something of an elephant in the room. Quite literally, when French naturalist Georges Cuvier presented a paper on fossilized elephant bones in the 1790s, he made the controversial claim that one was a jaw of a creature that no longer existed, an animal that was extinct. It turned out to be a mammoth. While many scientists argued that the animals were still around, just they hadn't been found alive yet. But Cuvier was adamant, suggesting this and other extinctions were caused by catastrophic events. By the early 19th century, although extinction had been established, the Bible still held sway. And Noah's flood was deemed responsible for both extinction and fossils. But again, the Earth suggested otherwise. A Scottish physician, James Hutton, developed the concept of deep time and geology. Now, using the power of geology, the estimated age of the Earth spread from thousands to millions. And finally, thanks to the advent of radioactive dating, we now know that the Earth is about four and a half billion years old. Then, towards the end of the 20th century, as geologists look more closely, periods of mass extinction were identified. Times when species were dying out at, quite frankly, an alarming rate. It was one of these, however, that gave mammals their big break and consigned dinosaurs to the entrance halls of natural history museums. Ultimately, this paved the way for we humans to become the dominant animal on Earth. In the course of our ascendancy, we've been responsible for quite a few extinctions ourselves. Of course, there is the dodo. But there's also the stellar sea cow, extinct within a mere 27 years of its discovery and the Tasmanian wolf, listed as an endangered species three years after the last one was seen in the wild. Indeed, we are so good at killing animals, it's been suggested that we're actually in the middle of a great period of extinction right now, all of our own making. As Homo sapiens, we are ourselves the survivors of several extinctions and are the last of the entire human family. The last of our cousins, the Neanderthals, became extinct around 25,000 years ago. So if we've learned anything, it's that nothing lasts forever. For the Earth, extinction is a way of life. And it's a statistical certainty that humans, too, will be extinct one day. It's not a matter of if, just a question of when.